All right, so we got some rain overnight, and now it seems like things are drying out. So hopefully, Lisette, how long is? I mean, we really we did need the rain. We did yes. to maybe cool off a little bit. So <laughs> yes, it was, it, was, it was a hot and hazy. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah was it was really hot and hazy the past few days, and it almost was a, nice to have some wet weather back in to bring us a little bit of relief this morning. Although not the best of timing, right? The morning rush. You never want to have to deal with rain during that time frame. But at least for now, for your lunch time, it's quieted down, and we have a mix of sun and clouds out there. And the same goes for. Key West camera. And as we look at the radar, it's quiet in Broward and Data, except for showers that are streaming in through parts of the Keys, and that's about it. The wind, though, has been building out of the east mainly about 10 to 16 miles an hour. And that onshore flow is going to keep the action moving towards the interior and the west coast. Any storms that develop will be likely steered away from the metro areas, but it does feel like the triple digits right now in Broward County feels like 100 in Oakland. Park 101 in Fort Lauderdale feels like 97 in Miami and in Key West. And here's our newly formed tropical depression number nine. It is not a threat to South Florida. A little close for comfort, if you ask me. But of course, uh, we will be watching this, and all of the northern Gulf Coast will closely be monitoring this because you'll see once we take a look at that forecast cone. Although right now to depression moving northwest at 13 miles an hour, tropical storm warnings issued for Grand Cayman Islands and parts of Cuba. It is forecast to be become Tropical Storm Ida later tonight and through tomorrow could become a hurricane when it passes near western Cuba and eventually moves into the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico where it will have the opportunity to become a Category 2 hurricane before it makes landfall possibly somewhere here along the northern Gulf Coast. Right now we're seeing Louisiana in the center of that cone, but a lot can change. There's a lot of uncertainty in that time frame. And here's a look at TD number 9 and then we have this disturbance which is east of Bermuda which does have a high potential of development. And then there's there's another tropical wave here near the Central Atlantic, which has a medium potential of development as it moves west northwest. So we'll be watching it all. It is that busy time of year for the hurricane season. For us today, scattered storms may pop up, but again, they will be pushed inland by that east breeze. Highs are on 90, which is normal for this time of year, but feels like temperatures into the upper 90s and hundreds. Now, if you're heading out on the water boating, winds east of 15 knots, east 2 to 4, and a moderate chop on the bays are sunset at 7:46 p.m. And tonight, there could be passing storms as we still have plenty of moisture, and that upper level low continues to move across the area. And you'll see from the moisture forecast. That will stay on the breezy side at times tomorrow, and we'll have enough moisture around to produce some spotty storms. Although the weekend isn't looking like a washout at all, but highs will remain hot, but typical for this time of year, around 90 degrees all the way through the weekend and early next week, ladies.